All right, we are about to open this box. Now, later on in this video, you guys are gonna see the greenhouse and how it looks. And you may remember that at my old house, and our old greenhouse, I had two green stalk planters on either side of the door and I loved it when they were full of salad greens. I loved it, I would plant flowers in them. One year I planted lots of flowers in them and they were just so full and lovely and they just look really neat right next to the greenhouse. And that greenhouse was white with like a bright blue and I had these really bright green green stalks and I've since given those to my mom. Uh, we did not move our green stalks, I gave them to my mom. and. Now I got these, which are going to go on either side of my new greenhouse. And I think that the, this color is gonna be really good. Yeah. All right, here it is. It's the dark green. This is actually a newer color. I saw this when I went to their uh, headquarters in Knoxville when Jeremiah and I were there in December. We just popped in on them and surprised them. And I really liked this and I thought this would be really perfect with my dark greenhouse. And you'll see the door on it in a little bit. And I think this is gonna be really great right there next to the front. So if you've been with me for very long, you've probably heard me talk about green stalk planters. Um, I have been using these for years. I got to know the family that owns this company that invented this, the dad invented this, and their whole family works there, and they're so precious. I think I met them in 2018. It was when their company was very new and my YouTube channel was very new, and we've kind of grown up together. <laughs> but they have all of their green planters and accessories on sale for 25% off for this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, the sale starts today and runs through the weekend. I'll put a link down below Below, you can also stack a coupon code. Mine is ROOTS10, which gives you an additional discount on top of that sale. This is cool because you can get either planter. So a lot of times this sale will be for just the leaf or just the original planter. Um, and this is for anything that's green. If you wanted to try both of them, you can get either on sale. I've made a lot of content about green stalks over the years. Um, I will put like a video, I have a review video kind of showing setting one up and how it works if you're the kind of person that likes to have more information. Um, of course, I've got some growing out and outside that I'll show you guys later in this in this video. Um, right now I've got a bunch of salad greens in one. My favorite things to grow in green stalks are salad greens and strawberries because when you grow those things in a bed or on the ground, they get dirty, they, you know, bugs can be an issue. I always had slugs in my strawberries, but never an issue in the green stalk. But they're also a really great option if you're working on limited space. My mother grows, I mean, she, my mom could be a green stalk commercial. Like her, her green stalks are amazing. She's grown okra and tomatoes and cucumbers and melons and it's just really, really cool. She pushes the limits on those things because she's a container gardener growing in a smaller space and they have been a way for her to be able to grow a lot of stuff. So links down below to the sale. I'll put my coupon code ROOTS10 down there just as a reminder and then also I'll put a link to some past green stock videos. Time for these guys to go find their way back outside. So the little plastic greenhouse is still getting a little love while the window greenhouse gets finished up. Oh my gosh, y'all, that rosemary right there is making it smell amazing in here. So I noticed I still had these inside. Um, obviously I just carried them out. And I noticed this morning that more of these eggplants had sprouted. I've got some Aunt Molly's ground cherries up here and here. And though none of the peppers are standing up straight yet, I see some Nata Pinos coming out right here. Some uh, orange spice jalapenos are coming up and they'll stand up probably tonight sometime. These are Serrano's. Here's some Craig's Grande jalapenos. So a lot of these are coming up. Right here, these are rosemary starts um, from Propagation, which I bought these. These are actually Dahlia starts, which I thought these were gonna come a little smaller, but I'm gonna be up potting these into larger pots 
probably going to do that once we get in the greenhouse in the next few days. And then over here, my tomatoes are popping up new ones every day. Like there's some super sweet 100s that haven't even stood up yet. But they all look really good. I was a little concerned because I had them in the bathroom. And I showed you guys in the last video how they were really leaning. But as you can see, just one day outside in adequate light, they're all standing up straight and looking really good. In the new greenhouse, I will have a fan. And I don't have anything moving the air in here. If this was going to be a longer term solution, I would put something out here. But as it is, it's it really warm in here. So I've just been opening this door and um, letting the wind blow in. It's almost evening right now, so we'll close it up. But yeah, I feel really good about it. I'm very excited. We had that really hard freeze the other night. Most everything is fine. I did notice that my lettuce did get just the tiniest bit, like you can see this little curling around the edge of this leaf. That's frost damage. If you get plants that get a little bit of frost damage, you can just pull the damaged part off so they don't try to put energy into repairing that um, or growing it and just pull out what's damaged and then it'll grow new leaves. Everything else that was out here was fine um, except this poor pineapple sage. I'm gonna tell y'all, I know that like I teach people how to garden. I like wrote a gardening book, but I still second guess myself. And I was like, I'm pretty sure pineapple sage is very frost tender because I remember having pineapple sage die back in my high tunnel. In Arkansas but it didn't completely die and I couldn't remember what freeze killed it and we had some like really hard freezes in Arkansas so I was like yeah I googled it and I read somebody who said oh pineapple sage is frost hardy well here's a note it ain't cobra plant mm, yeah this one's not I don't think this one's coming back I don't know maybe look look at that y'all see that one little green leaf right there if I cut this down to a nub where that one little green leaf will get some light, this plant may come back. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I should have brought it in the house. I brought everything else in the house, but it's what I get for second guessing myself. So over here, the cabbages are looking good. Um, tiny, tiny bit of frost damage on these. Like you can see it a little here. They're, they're still very usable. It's not gonna make them rot. So Maya's brother, Robert, is here right now. And my niece Charlotte just ran by with the boys. They're having fun playing. She said she didn't want to be in a video, so I'm not going to push her, although she is adorable. Um, I think Robert and the rest of his family are up here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Aiden, can I, can I put you in a YouTube video? Yeah. Video? Can I? Quincy Phelps. <laughs> Look. Look here. Look here, you see that? You see that? That's cool, huh? Guess They're what? Not. not? It'll be on the TV. TV. It will. You're great at making movies, Aiden. You're so good. All right, see you later, dude. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> My little nephew Aiden he's not little but um he he doesn't talk a lot and they found where he had been making movies on the phone okay and he edits them in iMovie on the phone and they're like iMovie has an option where you make like a trailer for a show or a, you know you can make like a trailer and it has these different things and he's making these storylines and he types in all the words and it it's so creative like we were looking at this one and it was it said a week of adventure and um what did it say two people oh one unforgettable week in guatemala that's what it said one unforgettable week in guatemala in search of adventure and he's like got all these like captions that are popping up and he's like making all this stuff up and so I looked at him and I was looking at all of his movies that he made and I told him, I said, Aiden, this is so cool. And he said, Disney Plus. <laughs> so I was like, okay, <laughs> he's so sweet. So they're here visiting from Oklahoma this week. So Ben is up here. 
on his dirt bike. So Ben has been saving his money. I guess he started before Christmas and saved Christmas money and he wanted a dirt bike for Christmas and I, t I told him no then. But he's just been steadily, he hasn't gotten off the idea. He's been watching videos about them. And we uh, matched his savings for his birthday and he bought this dirt bike. Hey, cool dude. You look awesome. You're riding so well. I mean, this is, I think this is my third day. You think it's what? It's my third day. It's your third day? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Yes, Ben got a dirt bike, a real one, for his seventh birthday. It does have some limits, so he can't just like go crazy fast on it. And he's taking the rules very seriously. Um, makes me a little nervous, but I do think it's important raising kids to teach them how to do dangerous things safely. I don't like them doing dangerous things, but at some point they're gonna do dangerous things. So teaching them how to do them safely, I think it's wise parenting. So here we have a very unfortunate happening. Um, when it got down to 20 degrees, that's negative, it was about negative six Celsius. It damaged these onions pretty badly. Now, I actually didn't think it would do that because it got really, really cold in Arkansas last year and all the onions were fine. However, I think that because it had been almost 90 the week before, 32 Celsius. So I think that that dip, I think just how drastically that changed is probably why these damaged this badly. Um, it might just be the variety because some of the onions don't look so bad. It's just some of them look really, really bad. My hope is, is that they come back. They're not entirely dead. It's just a lot of the greens died back. My hope is that they're still able to grow enough to bulb up. Um, the garlic's fine and some of the onions are fine, but you know, such is life in gardening. I, I mean, if I had it to do over again, I'd throw a tarp over them, but I thought it would be fun because it was fine last year, much colder in Arkansas, but maybe it was a different variety. It had also been very cold leading up to that. Uh, so. I, d I don't know, one of those things. Maybe we'll still get onions. And now for the thing that I'm actually most excited about. Let's peek in and take a look at the greenhouse. So, the, I love these windows. They look awesome. He's been pulled out of here a few times today, so he's like, uh, so am I allowed in now? <laughs> so obviously this is awesome and exciting. Ben, what do you think of this greenhouse? I like the floor. You like the floor? No, I don't like yep, it's all in. So this is composite decking, which is laid over gravel. So it can drain out, but be, you know, a nice solid floor and I will say this looks a lot, I feel like it looks a lot bigger on this wide angle lens than it feels. It is a, a large space. It's 16 by 20, so that's, that's a good space, but it's not, it looks massive on a wide angle lens. I mean, I don't know, this is like a good size, like living room size. Mm -hmm. I built it living room size on purpose. You built it living room size on purpose, why? Because you live in your greenhouse. Because I live in my greenhouse. Not always. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> this is Robert. So uh, 
half your family won't let me put a camera on him. And Aiden, I did get some clips of him. I was telling them about his movies that he's been making. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Aiden's leg. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was one of them. He did this thing where he had the cast on his movie, and the first is a picture of him, and it, the, the caption says Aiden, and the next is his leg. <laughs> the caption says Aiden's leg. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, man. What do you think, Noah? Uh, I think looks like a great greenhouse. Yeah, it does. Oh, Raph, no, sir. Oh, Raph is underfoot for all the work. So all of the greenhouse work has been done kind of like as much with the weather as possible. So they kind of like shifted gears to this and Maya hasn't finished putting in the colored glass yet, but tomorrow's supposed to be raining. So they did all of this that they needed the tools and the saws out for today, um, laying the floor down. And then he can shift to finishing that up tomorrow because he can be undercover with that and he doesn't need like power tools out for it. It looks really amazing. They're finishing painting trim and obviously taking the plastic off of the windows. And then they'll put, um, we have metal that's going around the bottom and then finish out all the colored glass. Now we did have one thing that kind of, it, it could have been a kink in the plan, but it actually is not that big of a deal. So we ordered this green door for the front and I was feeling pretty specific about what I wanted in this and I ordered the door, but when it came in, it actually, we didn't order the right one. Um, and this is such a minor thing that I was just gonna live with it because it's fine. In my ordering defense, <laughs> I did order the right one, but because I didn't message the manufacturer specifically requesting the green, they come standard with white. And oh, so since we didn't sweet. specify, so it actually the one that I pictured is the one I ordered. It was pictured with green. But to get green, you have to specifically ask for green. So you ordered I thought it was stupid also. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the door came, like the picture, it had like a green grate. And it came with white. And I was like, man, the greenhouse is black. Everything is blacked out. Or colored. Or colored. But I was, we need to put the door in because we need to put the seedlings in here. And this took a while to get in, it just came in. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of like a bummer, but I was prepared to just be like, no big deal. Like we're not gonna, I'm not gonna be a diva over the color in the store. But Maya told me, he, he's like, no, I ordered the green one with the green grate. And I'm like, well, no, what, you know, are they gonna exchange this one? But he had this brilliant idea. So we are actually, our house is all the way down there. And, when we first got this house and moved it in, basically it's a double wide mobile home and the door is like halfway down the middle and you come into the living room and what ends up happening is like a bunch of stuff gets dumped right there. There's not a good back door. Um, there is a back door, but it's like all the way down and out through the laundry room. So there's not like a good place to set up a grill. It's right there in the front, front door space and we have our pizza oven and all of this that we were, we were really wanting for another outdoor space to make the house flow and be more functional. So we had planned on putting a set of French doors right there in the dining room and just building a small deck. So we have a grilling deck where we could kind of just get out of the car and unload groceries. Um, and so Maya, we already have this stuff for the deck. Um, and Maya just decided that we would order the right door for the greenhouse and then we'll use that one on the house. So that worked out. I wasn't gonna make a big deal out of it. I think the white looks fine. Um, I do think it being solid green will be, it'll be nice, but this does look amazing though. Yeah. I'm so smitten. Maya has been very extra about this greenhouse, like like ordering that door. Like I'm very much the person who's like, it's fine, it's good enough. I'm not, not worried about that. Uh, you know, I was a little bummed because it's not what I had pictured, but I wasn't, I was prepared to just deal with it, but I thought it was really sweet that he figured out that solution that we could use that one. The greenhouse is just stunning. Um, it's wild because it's exactly what I pictured. And 
I love it when that happens. All right, so little progress here. Um, this is this is kind of next up on the list of what we're going to be doing is getting these high tunnels up so we can really start laying down compost and preparing the soil. One of these is going to be tomatoes and peppers for this year. Um, once we got this soil in and settled it in and we have compost, I just kind of realized that it's not, it's not out of reach to plant this. I was prepared to let them sit. It's so funny, like I've had these things of like the way I thought it was gonna go, oh, it's fine, I'll just leave it how it is or I'll just leave that and I won't do it. But then it just keeps working out to be able to move forward. Come on, bear. Oh, he's a happy dog. Have y'all noticed how good Bear looked? You know, he was getting a little chubby before we moved here. He didn't, didn't have the space to run like he does here. And he's looking really good. It looks like we are gonna plant one of those and then probably start planting some of the things in the other because I'm gonna do one that's like perennials and citrus. And I'll probably leave some space in the second one for, um, like up potting plug trays and different things like that just kind of have a, a bigger space i'm toying with some ideas for selling plants which i had thought again so one of those things you think it's going to go one way after in 2020 i had planned on doing a big plant sale like i always had and started a bunch of seedlings and then COVID. We had to cancel the shindig and it was a really big bummer. And so last year I did not start extra seedlings to sell. I, you know, I had some extras that I gave to people, but I was not, I didn't do a lot. And I kind of thought, yeah, I probably won't, I probably won't sell plants. But what I have found is that I love having plants to sell. Like I love, being able to have options for people to get started because the truth is not everybody is in a place to start seeds and i've really gained a level of like compassion and understanding for that this year being in this mobile home where i don't have any extra space in the past it was always like oh well i had a basement i had greenhouses i had like all this extra space that it was like starting seeds didn't seem like that big of an issue i had extra space in the laundry room that i could set a shelf up and a grow light and i really being in this situation i understand how overwhelming it is to start seeds when you can't guarantee that you can keep them safe this is very discouraging to start something and work on it and fail because of circumstances that are out of your control and having my cats inside even keeping all my stuff in my bathroom bruce still got in there and knocked us a plug tray over thankfully it was a plug tray and they all stayed put and i was able to put the ones that fell out back in and nothing was damaged but if it had been a tray full of different kinds of seeds that would have been really bad i am kind of thinking along the lines of wanting to have plants to sell and and my thought is is that in the future i mean i know that we're planning on some different business endeavors and some brick and mortar places and stuff like that and if we're going to have people that are working for us that can help with up potting and a seed starting and having some plants to sell i don't ever think that'll be a massive operation but i just think it's really awesome to have options for people thinking about giving some space in one of those high tunnels for that y'all this is just helen's milk she's been producing quite a lot you know what i think of sometimes i think of back before you know like a long time ago when we lived in town and we used to drive to that little country store in the middle of nowhere and buy raw milk for animal consumption but you be legal milk yeah and pay like ten dollars a gallon for it do you remember that yeah i do remember that this makes me feel milk rich. We are that. <laughs> so having to do milk withdrawal with Hope, we were like, oh man, we might have to tell some people that that are getting milk from us that they're not going to be able to. Um, but Helen has upped her game and she is pretty consistently doing between three and four gallons a morning. 
All right, it's actually the next morning. Um, the evenings have gotten pretty crazy for us with baseball and stuff, so sometimes those vlogs just end and I gotta finish them the next day. So I figured I would wrap this up this morning. I'm feeding my sourdough starter. Um, so I already add water to this. It was starter and I've added the proper amount of water and now I'm adding flour. The other night, Asher, my nearly 15 year old son, was cleaning up the kitchen and he knocks on my door. I'm laying in bed and he comes in and he said, mom, I think I messed up. And I was like, you know, what happened Asher? And he said, I accidentally poured out that weird cream stuff on the counter. And I think that was the jar I'm not supposed to pour out because normally this is in a jar with a blue lid and I had mixed, push, put it over into this jar so I could wash the other one. And uh, anyway, I had about like this much starter on the bottom. And so I haven't baked bread the last two days. I've just been building this back up. Now after this feeding, I'll have uh, plenty to bake a few loaves and still have starter for to feed and grow. Um, it's, it's very nice that sourdough can be brought back from almost nothing because he did accidentally pour it out and then realized as it was hitting the sink, like, oh no, I think that's mom's weird cream stuff that I'm not supposed to pour out. So today is super rainy and Maya's gonna be working out in the greenhouse inside of it. His goal was for me to be able to move into that by the end of this week. Now, we're still gonna have to build, like we have that mosaic tabletop, we're gonna have to build the potting bench and the shelves and all of that, but we can do that like on one half while having plants on the other half and then switch them over, um, which will be fine. The fact that we're doing so much at once and building so many things is just requiring some fluidity, not rigidity. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today and yesterday. I bless you until next time.